Hello, my name's Lizzie. I'm a speech and language therapist and one of the practitioners at DCC. I want to take a few minutes to explain to you why deep or diaphragmatic breathing can be a useful tool in your toolbox and to explain the physiological reasons that underpin this. Carers frequently tell us that they feel overwhelmed, frustrated or stressed. When any of us experiences these feelings of stress, what is actually happening is that we are triggering our fight or flight response. I'm sure most of you have heard of this. Fight or flight used to be very useful to us, but as we shall see, it is not always so helpful now. Deep in the brain is an almond shaped structure called the amygdala. This is part of our limbic system, which is a very primitive system and its structures are involved in motivation, emotion, learning and memory. The amygdala is always on the alert. It's like a meerkat scanning the horizon for any kind of threat. Thousands of years ago, threats used to mean invasion of marauding hordes or attacks by wild animals. And the fight or flight response would send most of the available oxygen away from our brains to our limbs, which is very useful when we needed to draw our sword or run like the clappers. Nowadays, however, perceived threats which trigger the fight or flight response are more likely to be someone queue jumping or somebody getting on the train before you've managed to get off, or someone asking the same question multiple times a day. The amygdala jumps into action and we are in a high state of stress and arousal. So what really helps in this situation is to increase the oxygen flow to the thinking centers of our brain and away from our primitive responses. And this is why deep breathing is so useful in helping us deal with stress. Our lungs are bell shaped, so wider at the bottom than at the top. So if we are able to use our full lung capacity, we can breathe in a lot more oxygen, which can then go to the thinking centers of our brain. And that will help us work out what we're going to do. And that could be that we need to remove ourselves from the situation for a few minutes, that we count to 10, or that we are able to think more clearly because stress prevents us being able to reason things through. So think of your lungs like balloons. As you breathe in, they inflate and you may feel your stomach move outwards. When you breathe out, your lungs will deflate and your stomach will move inwards. Try to make sure you don't move your shoulders. Lying down can help if you find this difficult. Try breathing in for a count of three and breathing out for a count of three, gradually increasing your breath outwards to a count of six if you can. Finally, don't think that you need to lie down in a darkened room and listen to whale music for this to be effective. In fact, we think it can be more helpful to think of this as a quick plug-in. You can just take some deep breaths, for example, while you're waiting for the kettle to boil. And thinking of it as a quick plug-in means you are able to recharge your battery no matter how briefly. It might be able to charge you up to 90%. However, it may just get you from 3% to 10%. And that might just be enough to help you carry on. I hope that was useful and something that you might try at times of stress.